All right, time for a beginner's guide to Gragas. Now, this is going to be a lower elo game. This is like lowish silver. I'm going to go show you some basic things with Gragas that you can do in order to get get yourself a consistent lead and just carry the games here like pretty comfortably. I'm against the Shaco, which matchup wise is fine. Like Gragas actually has a really good time against Shaco because you can kind of interrupt this like Q bullshit like with your body slam a lot. Also, I think this is probably going to be AP Shaco, so that's going to be slightly better for me, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, um, I'm going to go clear towards top side in this situation, because I think Draven and Zareth are just going to have perma push, and it is not ideal for me to try to gank that. Like, trying to throw a dive in this elo is not something I want to try, because that's probably going to end poorly. Uh, starting skill is always W because it has a five second cooldown by far the lowest so it does the most like overall damage uh, You can take E or Q afterwards, but generally you want to go by cooldown. So it's W Q E Because uh, it just speeds up your clear at that stage So that's what I'm gonna go for here um, I have an Akali, like, they have an Akali mid lane against Kassadin, which is a really good matchup for Kassadin But she also doesn't have flash so I could try to abuse that potentially But yeah, I'm just gonna first kind of uh, Kite the blue towards where my bot's about to run to, so they have more ch more time to auto attack. Like Draven has more time to like juggle his axe and stuff like that. But I think he dropped his axe. I, if he like did one more hit and then walked down with the axe, he would have been able to uh, pop the other axe, and then he would have been able to have double axes coming into lane. That's why I also kited it towards him, but uh, I guess not. I'm gonna have to be careful for a Shaco invade slash gank. He's gonna do a three camp bot side clear. And I'm just gonna have to uh, kind of hope that my laners don't like die to that, basically. You can also go for like an invade on me, potentially even. It's gonna you want to just want to let the barrel sit here the entire time when you're clearing like this. Make sure you kite it, let the barrel sit, wait for the damage. One more hit, and there we go. We're just gonna clear five camps and do scuttle afterwards. We're not gonna worry about anything else. There you go. Make sure to kind of walk like to the mini, like to make sure that the mini raptors actually don't just keep hitting you like when you're standing still, because that's gonna cost you a lot of damage. And after this, I'll look for scuttle. Topside scuttle. Shaco potentially has a full clear that's 315. Question is if this guy can do it or not. That is a different story, so we'll see. You want to hold your smite for the scuttle here. And yeah. Ah, that's one HP unfortunate. Alright, let me hit the plant, see what Shaco is up to. He's not here. I see a play on mid, so I'm actually going to just rain, run straight here. I know she doesn't have flash, so I'm just going to do this. I can, the fact that she doesn't have flash basically just instantly frees it up for me to... Uh... Thank you. I know he's there because I saw his uh, like his clone thingy. Like his the feint of his shadow. I'm going to get him in... Okay, good. I'm going to get him in a second there. His Q cooldown is fairly long on level 1. I believe it's like 14 odd seconds. So, yeah. Interesting. They're trying to fight here. Akali still doesn't have flash, so like... Okay, that works for me. That works for me. That's pretty good. This is just like knowing how strong you can be. Now first back here, I'm just gonna buy Sorks initially and get a Dark Seal with that. Grax's base damage is fairly high, so picking up early magic penetration and just since you have Predator, you want to pick up those early boots regardless. It's very valuable because it like it gives you a lot, a lot of extra damage. I think this entire like this entire sequence on top side basically already won us that. Also, me killing Akali beforehand, like with a flash body slam or like a body slam flash. The way you want to do that, by the way, is like you just want to. Yeah, I figured he'd be here. I'm gonna have to hold cover my bolt lane a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of this box. Ten gold. 
the way you want to do fl your flash body slams is you just want to lead with body slam and then like wait a little bit until the end of the animation of body slam and then flash instantly that's basically always gonna land if you flash first then it's not really gonna work that well so that's just something to keep in mind so you want to just like as soon as you're in the body slam animation like right about there like you see the end of that animation is really when you want to flash and then the animation will go through and insta hit the other target you're aiming for I currently have a hard time like ganking anything at the moment because I mean I have to clear towards top side since that's my camp spawn at this stage the uh, Gnar is pushing the entire time and Botlin is pushing the entire time as well so my best option would then be just to either invade Shaco or gank the Akali I could look for the Akali here potentially that one might get difficult as well she ward this she did ward this okay See Garen on top lane. I can probably catch him there. Shut down. Ooh, Shaco ganks. I just ping him to push the wave out faster. Just gonna stand here and wait for the wave to collapse, and then we're gonna go in. There we go. Good. And now we can just push top third for a little bit, get some free plate gold out of this one as well. As soon as you see, like, the, the like if your top laner is pushing, like, my Nar is pushing in this game, as soon as you see them, like, uh, the enemy team get, like, the enemy top laner get low, and you see, like, a Shaco bot lane, it's instantly, like, the time to dive. The enemy jungler is bot lane like that, you just insta-dive. Like, they can't, the top laner won't be able to defend that at all, and they're gonna lose even more. Like, I could potentially cheese him here as well. Nah, he went mid lane, okay. That's fine. Kassin actually got a double kill in mid. Quite interesting. His wolves are still up. He was dead just a second ago. So I'm quickly just going to go take this. This is actually quite risky. Because Shaco is probably going to walk here. And Garen is going to walk towards top side. So I'm going to stand in this edge here for now. Wait a little bit for Garen to have passed by this point, I would assume. And then we're going to walk past and do scuttle. Oh, he was doing scuttle. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna slow down. I'm not gonna let allow him to ult me or anything. Because that would be a mistake. Just gonna play it slow there, play it back. Push the midwave in. My team is diving in the back here, so pushing midwave in here helps a lot. To just, like, get this under the turret as soon as possible. This is going to create the pressure for Akali to die, basically. Yep, there we go. If I don't push that there, they, Akali would have been able to, like, freestand in this region, and then my bot lane wouldn't have been able to, or, like, these two wouldn't have been able to do anything. Okay, blue is about to spawn, so I'm going to go get that now. Uh, basically, when you're ahead like this, you want to make sure that you, like, pressure the enemy jungler's jungle the entire time, if you can. The, the, like, the more camps you can take from him, the better it is. Good. I don't have too much mana at the moment. Let's just Predator up here. I'm just going to Predator right now. The way you want to do this is you want to walk into range of him first. So walk into range, then body slam him. Uh, okay, I'm just going to knock him under turret. Good. It's important with your with your ultimates that you like learn where it's gonna knock them. So Garen walks into melee range of me there, he gets like turret aggro kind of, and I just ult him under turret. But yeah, you have a lot of early game pressure with Gragas as you saw. Like that top lane fight, I basically just won that for my team. Got my cast in at an early kill. My bot lane is doing reasonably well, but they're kind of like equally trading-ish. So yeah, I've won my entire top side based off of just like being very strong early game and making the right plays there. Which is nice, of course. But this game is far from over yet, because I mean it's still lower elo. This could go anyway. Let's walk up to the Shaco here. Why not? Okay. 
I already body slammed. I'm just gonna, uh, or not body slammed, I already predator. I'm just gonna make sure that I push the wave in here so Cassidy gets the back. Because I'm pretty sure he'd have a lot of gold at the moment. Can you not? I actually have to force take that, I see. Okay, just do dragon here. Good position for it. My team's gonna go for the fight, I'll finish it dragon. I have to take Shaco into account here. He didn't actually go for that. Killed the box instantly at least. It's gonna knock him that way. Ooh! He did he did it too late. It nearly could have worked. I wanted to knock him towards my team, but the wind wall, of course, like would have blocked it if he did it in time. So it wasn't really going to be a guarantee. This guy hasn't backed yet. What is this build? Still hasn't backed yet. What is this guy doing? <laughs> that is either a bug or my NAR is playing like a 10k gold like fucking mini game or something. What the hell is this? Oh boy. Oh, Predator to react to this. Fast as I can, really. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, walking up with Shaco boxes here is probably going to be quite risky. I can't ne necessarily go in on this because I don't just don't know where the Shaco. This is crazy. That man is insane. Ah, uh, that's risky. I actually thought Yas was going to walk away. I just kind of went very greedy on that. I have 4,000 gold as well. I should not have made that play that risky. That was, yeah, not that smart. I'll admit that right now. All right, secondary item. I'm doing pretty well this game, so I'm just going to go for a Lich Bane for the damage. And then also I'm going to get the, the Wisp here for the extra move speed on that one. Actually, 80. I still have the most farm in the game. I find that very surprising. Your team has destroyed a turret. Right, from this stage, you basically just want to look in the enemy jungle for his camps as much as you possibly can. Never let up and always be in the enemy jungle. Like if you're like, you can walk past like a grump like this and quickly do it. And then take like the scuttle here, but that, after this I'm gonna go into the bot side and just gonna take everything he has. The entire rest of this game, because I don't want him to have anything for the rest of this game, really. Hmm. I didn't expect the Kali to be in there as well. I can still catch up, but I have to run this way, because I can't run through Garen still. Eh, it's not gonna make it there. That's fine. Still have Predator somewhat active. I can cut off the Ziggs here. Good. Saw something on bot lane. React to it. Now we're just gonna take Shaco's entire jungle camps. Everything. Every single one. It doesn't even matter. Like, I don't even have to clear the rest of this camp. It's For me, it's just the importance that it's on cooldown as fast as possible right now. Because this entire jungle is up and I will have limited time, so I'm just going to quickly do everything. So Shaco gets nothing, basically. I can sit in this bush and wait for him. Eh, okay. Kite it this way. And just basically just wait it out. There we go, and I'm just going to run towards topside here. This basically creates an even bigger lead on the enemy jungler. It's currently a three level lead, but this is going to extend it so much further. That he basically has no chance of getting back in this game ever. And now we're just gonna do his wolves as well. Like, a lot of people might, like, when you're getting lead like this, they might just farm their own camps or look for, like, consistent plays. But the best way to keep the enemy jungler just completely out of the game is doing this. Like, I just rotated through a, his entire jungle and he got nothing. He can't even farm my jungle either. He's basically just gonna lose everything here. I guess best place to now just go for like the bot lane gank or something like that, but yeah. Now oh, Nar has backed for items. It's a surprise. Just gonna wait. 
as you know a little bit unfortunate i think okay good like the ult you need to make sure that the ult placement is like you get used to that the most it's the most difficult thing about gragas is knowing how to ult with him um what i have is i have my alt cast on normal cast so you can basically just like if you if i do this i can have this but i also have my standard cast on quick cast so if you have the combination of that you can basically always get the circles when you need them and when you don't need them or when you think you're like gonna know exactly where it's gonna go then you can just cast normally which really helps with gragas because it makes it easier for you to set up his ultimate if you're new to him at least team is still like very much running around the map i'm gonna go go like the lich bane here it's gonna increase my burst by quite a significant amount and i'm gonna play for the dragon my team doesn't want to group here necessarily draven and zareth are still just running straight through bot lane and even if we do have a lead this could still go very wrong so i'm gonna have to be careful of that one i can pull predator here and run this gragas down or this uh, garen down really easily here Walk with him. Hop. Okay, good. Now we're gonna push mid wave in and then I'm gonna go for dragon. There we go. Now we go for Drake. Get Scuttle first, then take Drake. That's already done. Okay, we're just gonna drag now. Six bomb. This is a pretty good attempt, actually. Not too bad. But yeah, now we're looking for Shaco's camp scan. That's down because my sweeper doesn't spot a camp there. I'm gonna go like right here. This is also done. Okay, Shaco's top side. I'm gonna go for mid then in this case. My my predator is back up in like two seconds. Alright, they're gonna all run top here. I guess I'll follow. I'm gonna predator and run up. I think the Yasuo will probably be around here somewhere. Wait, I killed Shaco? The heck? Oh, he's right there, he's gonna die. He's gonna, like, get some distance with his dashes. He turns on me. That is quite interesting. He kills me! Oh my god, I, I had to play around his... Nah, then. Okay, damn. Respect? Respect, he played it well. I, I had nothing but respect for that one. The very nice flash Q knockup on me there. He got me. Very, very well done. I actually thought I was going to be fine there, but he like Q, like Q knockup flashed me with like an ult combo. Wind wall is something I had to keep in mind there for my Q placements and everything as well. So it's kind of annoying for me there, but eh, well played. I respect it. I'm going to go for a Zonias to avoid that situation from happening ever again. I mean, as you can see, I'm still three levels up on this guy in, in the jungle. He doesn't have a great time because I'm just punishing him the entire game, basically. Okay. Just... He here? No, he left. Left towards bot side, even. Let's see. Good. I don't think I can fight this Yasuo, especially because he has exhaust. So I'm gonna play what, like careful for that. I just killed Shaco, so I'm just gonna look for his jungle camps again, of course. Same rule applies. Always hunt for his camps. Not gonna let up on any pressure on this guy. He's gonna suffer for the rest of this game. Again, I'm just gonna look for some speed here. I'm gonna scout this with my barrel. Okay, it's not here. Uh. Good. Ooh. Uh, the exhaust, I swear, like, that's the exact problem that I had there. 
I was I was able to 1v1 him there if not for the exhaust. I would have been able to do it with like an ult damage and stuff, but okay. At least he used his exhaust. Which is somewhat helpful for me. But I think it's blues up, so here we are again taking his camps. No matter like how slow your team is gonna be able to end the game, if you keep consistently doing this, the enemy jungler will never get back in this game. Like I've basically just punished him out of the game for a long time now. I have nearly a hundred CS up on him because of this specific reason. Like this simple thing, like just making sure that you like forsake your own camps basically and just go for the enemy's camps. Nothing they can do. If you have enough, like a slight enough lead for it, then it's just over from there. No, you just body slammed him away from me, my guy. That that Nar ult was actually so bad. If he ulted towards me, whew, if he ulted him towards me there, then this Yasuo would have been dead. I have to respect it. That was like, yeah, I would have reached with body slam and Yasuo would have basically instantly died. But the Nar ulted him the other direction. I can't go react. I need to go do red buff first, get my HP back and then look for it. So I'm back to full HP now. And now I can look for a play again. That was a very unfortunate Nar ult to me. Because the uh, if he would have just ulted him towards me, like literally towards me, my body slam would have hit. The uh, Yasuo would have died in one hit there. It's okay. Okay. He just got one shot. The best play for me right now actually is to just do the dragon. He's not gonna ult that. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna go the dragon. I'm gonna go get the dragon. My team is too low to siege here, so we're just play Drake. Play the safe one. If you don't have smite up on Gragas, by the way, it's ideal to just wait for a burst rotation. So we're getting kind of low here. And then with Lich Bane in this case, I can quite easily burst it like that. You can also like use your barrel on a max charge to help with the additional damage on it. That would also work. That was actually the real one. Who, why would you kill that clone? The man literally prevented me from chasing the enemy team there. <laughs> okay. I see. Ooh. All right, I have to respect the Yasuo here. Gonna go get the Grom, peel myself back to full here, and then I'm gonna look for the play again. There we go, back to full HP. If you're kinda, kinda low, always return to your jungle and look for something, if you can. Just wait patiently, wait for them to like step up to the side or make a mistake. Or even go in. Go in would work for me as well. I mean, Top Lane is still pushing the entire time, so I should just go there. Gonna make sure I lose my Lich Bane procs on the turret. Gonna wait for him to ult something. Potentially, hopefully. Oh, the exhaust, man! Oh, the fuck. Oh, man, I hate exhaust so much. I actually would have killed him there, guaranteed, without that exhaust. Like, the exhaust saved his life. Ugh, damn. I'm trying to put some pressure down. I need to be careful because I, like, currently just don't have the HP for this. Should be backing soon as well. I have quite a bit of gold. Why are you teleporting bot lane, my dude? This man's our target. I right, play slow right there. Just do my initial combo and then walk out. I can chase this with Predator. As long as I don't get body blocked by my Draven, of course. Lich Bane. I have like 3,000 gold, so I'm quickly gonna back. 
But you basically see the way you want to play throughout the game. Like you just, if you get the lead, pressure for his camps. Um, like the combos are something you're probably gonna have to get used to. But overall, like, yeah. I can get the Magi's upgrade here still, it's fine. I have Ingenious Hunter, so like the, uh, this will reduce the cooldown of your Predator by a lot. Also Zonias when you get it later on and stuff like that. Works on everything really, so any cooldown things, really nice to have. Like this one for example as well, so yeah. Look for the blue and then we're gonna look for the pressure towards both side because my team is sieging again instead of doing Baron. But yeah, you, 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 like, the main thing to see here is just how far the enemy Shaco is behind. Like, this man is literally, like, 130 CS behind me because of the way I've played this game against him. This is a really, like, like, you don't have, this is not just Dragos, this is any jungler. If you play like this, when you get a slight lead, this is the way you need to play. You can punish somebody so hard. They have nothing they can do about it either. Make sure to use your uh, Lich Bane procs properly. As well when you're like trying to push turrets and stuff like that okay He put up a shield, so okay, well, that's fine. I are still all dead, so I'll go kill this guy. Body slam extend, knock him in the face. So right there, that's the thing. Like, you body slam, wait for the thing, flash on the extend. They can't react to that, really. You're always going to get hit, and they just die. And we can end the game here. But yeah, that's it for Dragus. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.